Yes, and welcome to all the uh, men in Connecticut that will be attending the Connecticut Men's Conference. We're gl uh, glad to be with you. I'm excited to be coming down. Um, real quickly, I'm Father Chris Alar. I'm the Provincial Superior uh, of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception here at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy. Uh, about my journey to the priesthood, it's kind of a long story, but um, to summarize, I'm an engineer by degree. I got my MBA from University of Michigan, owned a business down in Charlotte, was engaged to be married, uh, had a home on Lake Norman, just everything God could give on paper, everything God could give to any, any young man that um, is striving to find happiness, but I wasn't happy, uh, something was missing. And then when um, I found the call to the priesthood, ironically through the suicide of my grandmother, um, it changed everything when I learned of the mercy of God. And if you're going to follow the mercy of God, you'll end up somehow or another at the Marian Fathers here in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where we're the epicenter. So I ended up becoming a Marian Father, and um, we're very much uh, now engrossed in, in getting this message around the world. And we're happy to spend this time with you guys coming up uh, to be able to tell you why Jesus told St. Faustina, that divine mercy is mankind's last hope of salvation. So definitely a topic that we want to be talking about. Thank you. Father Chris, briefly tell us what your thoughts about what you were thinking about when you started the back to the seminary, I'll call them the presentation from the Saturday morning. Oh, it was interesting because when COVID hit uh, in March of 2020, I remember at, at the time visiting with my provincial superior and saying, how are we going to survive? And uh, we, we, you know, we survived by pilgrims coming to the shrine and that's how we, how we survived. And uh, we had to quickly find a way to reach the people that were not going to be allowed to leave their homes. So only by the hand of God, uh, praise be to God. We had one brother here who had just redone everything in the shrine, the lighting, the, the sound, everything just before COVID started. And so we were one of the first ones online broadcasting prior to COVID. And I decided this is a great time to give some, some catechetical teachings about our faith. So we started this Explaining the Faith series with the hope that we get, um, you know, a few thousand people would have been a success to us at the time. Oh, my. Um, almost all these videos uh, are into the hundreds of thousands of views. We have several over a million views uh, not in our wildest dream did we ever think something like this would happen. And praise be to God, he brought a greater good out of even the worst evil like COVID. And um, so now we're able to spread the message of mercy even farther and wider than before COVID. Can you tell us a little bit about your show on EWTN, your new show? Yeah. After the Explaining the Faith series became very popular, um, all of a sudden, EWTN called me <laughs> and uh, asked if we would consider doing a show similar to what we did on, um, on uh, our Explaining the Faith. So each show, the, the name of the program is called Living Divine Mercy. And so the first part of the show, we do a teaching segment, kind of like we do on Saturday mornings. These are things that I love to take back. My, the happiest time of my life was my time in seminary. And um, I took, I was so detailed in taking notes and listening and asking questions that I thought, wow, what a shame not to share this with the world. So I started this program called Back to Seminary. You know, I, I want to share what everything I learned in seminary yeah. you know, with, with everybody. So it's almost like you can go to seminary without having to pay tuition. And so um, I'm taking you back to seminary with me. And uh, EWTN called and, and said, we want to do something like this. And so we started a living divine mercy, but now we add a human interest story. And some of our stories have been incredible of people finding divine mercy. And so it airs every Wednesday at 630 Eastern time on EWTN. And we invite you to join us to learn about everything from St. Faustina to confession, to communion, um, to, uh, to sports. We've had topics like that too. So there's something for everybody. Who are your favorite, your favorites to watch, the priests that you watch and you depend upon as a resource? I think probably one of them is my own brother, Father Don Calloway. Uh, 
He always adds humor. He's engaging. I think the key to our beautiful faith is, is the content is so powerful that it, it, it works by itself. But if you add a little bit of personality to it and some storytelling like Father Don Calloway does, uh, it's great. And uh, my other favorite priests are, uh, uh, you know who I enjoy is Mark Goring out of uh, Canada. Um, him and I've talked and texted before. Um, Father Mitch Pacwa is a friend of mine. And you know we go down and visit him at EWTN. So these are some of the great priests that I think uh, can you can never go wrong with. I guess last question. When the men go to visit uh, Stockbridge, what's the best time or what are the best events? Actually, we're open uh, 365 days a year, surprisingly. And so uh, the fall up here is beautiful. So, you know, we have fall time to visit. But in the spring, which is always beautiful, of course, is Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, to be here on that one day of the year, um, that one day of the year where the priest can absolve you from sins in the confessional, but also not only of the sin, he can re you can be remitted of all the temporal punishment due to sin. That's incredible. And uh, we got YouTube videos on that topic that you can, you can dial up and learn all about how to receive the grace of Divine Mercy Sunday. Well, that's fantastic. So, Father, I understand that you'll be uh, doing a deep dive on Eucharistic miracles when you come. And we yep. look forward to hearing that. Uh, yeah. It's one of many talks I do on the Eucharist. I got so many talks on the Eucharist because uh, it's such a beautiful topic to talk on. So, yes, Eucharistic miracles are but one of those. Well, Father, thank you very, very much for coming to Connecticut and agreeing to see us. We've been trying to connect with you for several years, and I'm happy now that we're able to do it. And so we will see you on September 24th. That sounds great. And until then, we invite all of you to come to this special uh, men's conference in Connecticut. Uh, again, as you heard, it'll be September 24th. There's a great line of speakers uh, that we're looking forward to spending time and meeting you. So please join us. And until then, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.